Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gaddis here bringing the game so far for Space Base DF9, the latest game that came up on Steam Early Access in the roguelike genre. Alright, so starting out here and we have to select our place. This decides the difficulty of the game and a lot of the other features that will happen, the amount of events that will happen in the game. Also, this is the only time you get this music. So we're going to listen to that for a second because it's the only time in the game you get it. Yep, it reminds me a lot of Firefly, for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, it's been a long time since I watched that show. Anyways, alright, so we're going to pick 21-35 down here, that is the up and down axis. So, there's a limited amount of these, but yeah. Alright, so 21-35, and that gives me extremely high stellar density, and other settings that I very much like. It is going to be low difficulty. But that's where we're going to start out for this demonstration of the game so far. Alright, we're going to accept this launch. Then we got to go down here to deploy. And it takes us a very, very long time to get there. Alright, so welcome to Space Base DF9. You start out this game with three little guys, survivors, that uh, are actually running out of oxygen currently, so we have to build them a building pretty fast or else they will die. We're not going to build one too extravagant or else we won't get oxygen in it fast enough. Got to cancel that construction. Alright, so go room. Just drag it like this. We're going to do it too wide. Five long. This will be the airlock. And then uh, I'm going to build a room right here. This is a future plan part, we're actually not using this right away. And then, finally, a 3x3 three three area that'll allow us to build some form of oxygen regeneration. Alright, so we're going to confirm that building. And then we have to go to our roster and make it so they are all builders. Oh wow, we got no 3-star builders. These are all randomly generated. Normally I get 3-star builders. One time I got 3 3-star three builders, which is the best... They are divided up into skills, and you can only choose one of these at a time, unlike, say, Nomoria, where you can actually have them do all of the things at once. However, that causes complications, and you can prioritize and all that. This is much more basic. You just give them its job, and that is the only job that it'll do. And uh, my favorite one being Bartender. <laughs> Alright, so let's watch them. They will. I do like how they are visibly res represented with their respective class, because you can really quickly see which one is which, and uh, that's not really done in many other games in this genre. Alright, so we're just going to click this fast forward thing and see as they build this. I do like the art style. If I press K, it'll lower the building things. Uh, yeah. This part's pretty basic. Alright, now we can put play. Uh, oh, my base has no oxygen. I already know that because I haven't made oxygen. All right, we're going to go objects, doors. All right, going to make some airlock doors right here. They are too wide, and it is already having complication for where to build it. Come on. Come on. Early access, but this is... Okay, we're going to hit K. Maybe that'll make it easier. There we go. Much easier. All right, so build some doors there. Uh, now, the way we make this as an airlock is, as you see, it is unzoned area. We click that, change it to airlock, and that'll be an airlock. And that makes it so I can build, in construction, specialized items in the room. You can't place items in every room. You have to go airlock and spacesuit locker. See if I go it here, it just doesn't do it because it isn't an airlock. But if I do it here, I could do that. Flip object, and that way they could switch in and out of their spacesuits. Alright, so this will be remained unzoned. We're using that in the future for when we make more airlocks. Alright, so this is going to be life support. Back. And then we're going to make a life support thing so it makes oxygen. A oxygen recycler. Confirm. Oh, right. Fuck. I don't have a door to that yet. Alright, ob object, not floor. Door. Alright, this is just a normal door. It does restrict oxygen to flow though, so say if this wall got blown off, oxygen would not leak out of there. Uh, these doors are very sturdy. 
Yeah, if they are covered in pink, that means that they are actually going through space and they are not in an atmosphere rich environment. All right, so now we just gotta let them go out of here. Then they'll start generating oxygen. We're gonna fast forward this. All right, now this guy will get out of his suit because this whole place is has atmosphere. All right, so that's good. Now we're gonna make more rooms that we can so that we can finally mine these asteroids because we are running out of matter. All right, so just gonna drag that out like that. We gotta make a four x four area. Confirm, and they cannot make it from here, but they will make it out there. We're also going to get this guy to make a door right here. These doors are wonderful. Let's see, we need another 3x3 three three area, because I'm going to make a secondary uh, enter, uh, oxygen recycler. So, construction, room, drag it out there, to 3x3, three three, confirm. Object, door. I really like this interface. It uh, feels pretty snappy, and once you learn the hotkeys, which I haven't done yet, I bet it can be even snappier. Alright. Now that place has atmosphere, objects, life support, oxygen recycle. Oh, does not let me. Oh, right. It's a case where I didn't actually designate the room yet. I have support. Place that in there. Alright, so this is going to be the refinery where we can refine and make mine uh, mine these areas and refine it. Construction. Objects. Refinery. Matter refiner. Awesome. These guys are just working out because they have nothing else to do. All right, now we need some places for these guys to sleep. We do not have that yet. Okay, this is one of my gripes with the game. WASD is how you move the uh, stuff around, the camera, I mean. And when you open this menu, WASD has hotkeys. So instinctively, I press those buttons to move my camera around, but I can't do that. I have to hold the right mouse button to move it around. It's a habitual error and not really a game error, but yeah, it does bother me at times. Alright, so that's going to be the sleeping quarters once we do that. Objects, doors. Put a door here, door here. Love doors. Alright, so this is another glitch that happens. These things will start on fire. So, if you go into construction objects, for all zones, you can make fire extinguishers and put them on the wall, and this greatly increases the efficiency to which your guys don't burn and stuff doesn't burn. However, if I were to put these fire extinguishers in the room down first, I wouldn't have been able to build the oxygen regenerators, uh, which has caused issues in the past where I have to completely destroy walls. Oh, this is a random event. Uh, seems to check out. All right, welcome aboard. And they are crying tears of joy. All right, we got our first new recruit. And what is he good at? Four-star builder. Awesome. Or a three-star builder. Gotta learn how to count. He'll just come into here and help us out. Uh, we do... Now would be a good time to switch one of these guys to technician. Which one? This one's on two-star there, so I'm gonna switch him to technician. And he will make sure that these things do not explode. Which do happen. A uh, technician's only use is maintenance, pretty much, on all these systems. Alright, so we're going to fast forward some more. Because we still do not have a sleeping area. Alright. Right. Again, i got to zone this area to residence. That's a nice, nicely lit room, I'd say. All right, construction, objects, residence, and we can make some space beds. 
And we don't have enough matter. All right, well, one bed is good enough for now. All right, so now we need to make a miner, which will get us more resources. Which one is a good miner? This one. And we'll keep the two builders. All right, so now we got a, we got this hunk of stuff right here that we can turn into minerals. And he will go in and out of this airlock in his mining gear. That reminds me of Alien. And he'll bring it to this and turn it into matter that we can use to make beds. Which is very useful. Alright, so... Once that's done... Right now is a good time to make a second airlock. I do not want that. Uh, construction. Room. Drag it out from there. And then drag it out from there. Well, that that is not what I want at all. Ugh. Construction. Room. Okay, we're just going to do it like this. And then we'll make a wall along here once that's complete. Oh, this is the Canadian one. As we can tell by the language that they're using, this is a Canadian chicken. It's not actually a chicken. They just do that for all units right now. All right, you sound f happy. Welcome aboard, Canadian. Or Canadians, if there's two. No, there is only one. All right, whatever. All right, what is this new guy good at? Not a lot. So we're going to keep you as a builder. Because builders are useful. Pretty much universally. Actually, I don't know. We only have one miner. Let's let's put you on miner duty. Again, I love the fact that these guys are represented that they look like a miner. They don't just all look the same. Alright, so we're going to go objects. We're going to buy some more bed. Oh, I still can't afford beds. Damn it. Get ahead of myself. Alright, we're going to go fast forward. Alright, so piers that I can make walls right here now. Alright, so now that I've shown most of what can happen in this game, most of the mechanics that are here, I'm going to talk about what they plan to add. They do plan on adding a full food mechanic to this game, which currently does not exist. Right now, your guys just exist forever. Also, if I were to select one of these rooms and not let time go by as my people die, because this guy can't get anywhere, in fact, he's sleeping on the floor. There is a reactor which generates power that is not in the game currently. Also, I would like to stress the fact that this game is currently $25, which people are arguing is a pretty steep price considering what is in the game right now, which is base it's basically like a glorified pre-order at this state, because not, not a whole lot later into the game is really here. Uh, most of the game's gameplay actually comes in the form of random events of derelict ships showing up in the distance and uh, in the area of this base that we might see in the future of this playthrough, I don't know, since it is randomly generated. But for now, we're just gonna make more beds. Seems like I got a lot more money now. I'm gonna buy some space rugs, just so it looks all fancy. And space dressers. See, this is another thing. Oh, I can't afford that. I would make space dressers right here. Oh shit, I probably shouldn't do, oh. Gotta cancel that. Because like I said, there is a place order glitch or whatever feature, I don't know what it is right now, where if I place the beds, you, you know, the rugs I put down, if they were to be, have been built first, the bed would have been cancelled. So, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to make the beds first and then place down the rugs. It's definitely an inconvenience. Alright, so fast forward again. Right, I need to make some more stuff because he can't get in and out of that. We're actually going to demolish this wall here because I want this to be a continuous hallway. And construct objects, doors, airlock doors. This will be a secondary airlock so people can get in and out more easily, more efficiently. All that. Alright, airlock 2.
All right, we officially have a second airlock up and running and a continuous hallway that we can expand this way or this way if we need more as we get more residents. I know for the, the first time I played this game, I did, oh. Kinda sounds like you're pirates, not gonna lie. Uh, we're actually going to say, glad to hear you aren't pirates, which is not the decision that I should do because I just really wanna shoot these guys and show off the combat. All right, excellent decision. They are now going to dock, which is basically this giant thing that pops out of nowhere. All right, so now we have reason to have security. All right, we're gonna put these guys on security detail. Uh, switch you to miners so we've got some mining getting done. All right, now that we have those guys, we can now put this beacon onto this ship that'll basically tell three of these guys to check out this ship. Done. That guy is laying on the floor in a very bad position. I don't know why we have an open bed. You could go to that if you wanted to. All right, so because I put three here, this guy will wait at the entrance until there are three guards, or or not. He's just gonna walk, oh. What? Okay, so they didn't wait this time. And it appears that that was good because we actually gained a person that isn't going to kill us. Those weren't pirates. How awesome. They're just really bad at grammar. All right, so we're gonna make another technician because those are always good to have. Actually, we're gonna do it like this. You're gonna be security detail. Uh, that seems pretty balanced. Could use more miners. I don't have any miners, so I could do like that. All right, awesome. And we got another airlock over here and another oxygen recycler. I do not like having these far apart. I might have to take that down. Uh, deconstruct it for its matter, but until then, I don't know. Also, I'd like a beacon in here. Why Why aren't we exploring this area? I don't know. But we got one security detail. You can go check it out. There might be a giant alien in there. I don't know. Kind of terrifying, though. All right. So that kind of shows off the random events that can happen. If I didn't want people to go between these two ships and I kind of just wanted this to get destroyed, I could. Oh, we got three more beds. Great. People can sleep more. Yeah, I'm going to destroy that, uh, this right here. So how I'd go about that is construction, demolish, select you. However, that does mean we are low on oxygen, so we're going to need to make a oxygen room. This is a pub. I don't need a pub. So we're going to turn you into a life support room turn you into okay so some religious cult is wanting to attack me and they are going to come and kill us wonderful that's what I want to hear about uh, new people that I meet alright three guys that are going to go beacon Send all three of them. Hopefully it waits this time. It might not. I sure hope it does. Yeah, he's waiting right there. Oh, shit. Raiders. Raiders are here. Oh, God. Okay, this is where we switch all of our guys to security because that means that everyone on our team or group pulls a gun out of their ass and can defend themselves. If not, they all just die without mercy. One of them is panicking. We're down to four guys. Oh, they fucking shot the oxygen. That is not good. Thankfully, their ship has an oxygen supply that is contributing to our O2 overall. Or else we would be suffocating. Because each of these can support three people. This guy is still panicking. And this guy's getting shot. Don't, don't shoot like that. Don't. Uh, so dangerous. Alright, so now we're down to three people because raiders decided to kill the rest. Yeah, those situations are pretty much out of my hands past the point of putting them all on security detail. I can't do much else. 
so that's where the fun happens as uh, Dwarf Fortress players would say alright so we're going to just make these areas unzoned because I don't really have a need for them and this one isn't even the right shape to build anything in so yeah that's not very good all right, it appears we don't need to make another oxygen recycler anymore because we just don't have people to breathe that oxygen, which is fine, I guess. All right, how convenient. We have a three star of each of the three major roles. Space wolf fillets, foods. These guys have the best conversations. I'm gonna let you know that for sure. Like, I think one of them was uh, something turtle noodle. That was one of the things that another guy said to another guy. His reply, something turtle noodle. Real, real great speak. Great dialogue for all these guys. Very in-depth characters. All right, so I pretty much showed off most of this game. Uh, stuff that happens now is that technicians fail to repair these and they explode and then people get sucked off into space and die. And that's pretty much it so far. Um, you can expand, you can build bases through all this area beyond that. There's not a whole lot else I can really do. Derelict ships will show up. I can fight off aliens in the derelict ships. And I can exp expand my base. Again, this is on early di uh, easy difficulty because I chose the area that was easiest. So, yeah. Uh, can definitely be a little bit harder and I'm sure a lot more happens when it's harder and when there's more people showing up and all that all that is variable but overall there lacks a certain sense of progression past this point I've gotten to this point within one video past this point it's all random events there's nothing else for me to do they do plan on adding power later into the game so I got to power systems maybe I can have turrets or something I don't know um, what I need power for uh, all that stuff. There's going to be food mechanics coming into the game. Uh, all that kind of stuff. But right now, the only thing that I haven't, haven't added to this base is a pub. That's it. Which the pub isn't useful because there isn't food yet. So, great. More raiders are coming. You know what? I don't have any money. No resources? Okay, he's not going to show up. Right. Just avoided a possible raid that my three people wouldn't have survived. So those events pop up, like, from the ones I've seen, three out of f four of them are, or I guess five events I think I've counted so far. Anyways, three of them are just new people showing up, and the other two are possibly raiders. And then there's derelict ships, which just show up out of nowhere. An incoming ship has been spotted in the distance. We're just going to fast forward for a minute, see if this is maybe a derelict ship that'll pop up. That we can go and see what's in it. Apparently not. Alright, so I think that concludes this video. Again, $25. This might not be worth it for many people. I've enjoyed what I've played of it, but again, that's kind of come to a halt with the lack of things I can do at this point. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, most of my base that I built wasn't actually built by me. That's kind of a complaint, but at any point in time, I can just demolish all of this if I go here. Just drag it over all of this. Then drag it over all of this. Nope. I could just demolish all of this. I'm totally selecting all of this wrong. But yeah, you get my point. Alright, so that concludes this video. Leave any complaints, suggestions, or any of that in the comments section below. Uh, like the video and subscribe for more early access, reviews of sorts, game so far videos. Alright, thanks for watching.